Hey there, what's up everyone? My name is Starfiger and welcome back to Toki Doki Literature Club. I had to get a drink of water right here. Because I was just... I was being so... Oh, hold on a second, my glasses. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie dokie. <laughs> okay, anyways. So, um... Anyways, I was kind of doing these episodes all at once. Uh, I did the first episode, I had my lunch, I did the second episode right after that, then I did the third episode, and my throat was getting dry after the last episode, which was particularly long, so I had to get some water. It's kind of close to the edge of my table. I'll be fine. Oh. A little clang there. I've got my little, uh, Infinity Gauntlet keychain. Uh, okay. So, anyways, let's, uh, do this. We're making our thing. There's apparently a festival that's gonna happen, so what's incapable? Okay, sure. Uh, spinning... Vitality, excitement, a uh, heartbeat, uh, blanket, frightened, heaven sent. Gee, I'm not getting much for her. Um, sparkle. There we go. Together. There we go. Sadness. Sadness with her? That's surprising. Depression. Depression was Sayori. That's kind of extreme. Uh, tenacious. Uh, let's see. Parfait. Um, vibrant. Sure. Uh, kiss. Bliss. And silly. Okay. I can honestly kind of see... What, I can honestly kind of see where the direction of this game is going. I, I see... I, like... The, I think this is like a multiple choice type of game, but the way, but the way I, um, but the things that I end up choosing in the poem seem to be leaning more towards me wooing Sayori, but I can, but by some of the things that my character says in the game, I can tell that my character is actually kind of liking Monica, it's kind of getting attached towards Monica, and honestly, I am too, she's the, she's the most normal one out of everybody here, Sayori is like over, is like overly positive, um, Yuri is very, very shy, and while I do like shyness, I also do like confidence as well. And Natsuki, she's very confident, usually, but she, but she's also kind of a little mean, and I don't like that. Monica's the most normal one out of everybody. Anyways. Aw, oh, man! I'm the last one here again! Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah! <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Oh, well, wow, now she's all excited about it. Eh? Weren't you complaining? Yeah, weren't you complaining about just yesterday? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where you got to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because! It's right in your name! Monic Monica. What? Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. I also joke makes no sense in translation. Yeah, I don't really get it either. What? Eh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyways. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. It's yeah, just everybody just... Just Thanos snap them to wisp away. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori! I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh! You're speaking out again. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Of course! I wanted to be. Just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Alright, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. Yeah, that's a bit troubling for me. All of a sudden, Natsuki is being the super positive one, and, and Sayori suddenly it's Seems like something's wrong. Is it because Natsuki is becoming cheerful and everybody's kind of like uh, paying more attention to that? I don't know. But the conversation's already dispersed with everyone back at the usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. 
Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Dear Figer, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Siori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Siori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Terrifier. You certainly you know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. So, sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Terrifyker. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, and I probably shouldn't say too much, but Zeri talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? Huh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Siori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> it's so funny, Therifiger. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because it's just how she is when she's around you? I have said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so I'll try not to think about it for now. Uh, Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Siori is sitting. I'll watch you kneel down next to Siori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Siori told me not to worry about her and have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. I think I sense what's going on here. I think I know what's happening. There's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Ellipsis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Now we share our poems now. Before I note, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. I wonder. Like, actually, as a matter of fact, I actually forgot to save, so I'm going to do that right now. So, uh, save. I only saved once, which was after my very first episode of this game, so I'll save right there. Uh, and return. I will... I'll do it right in the order again. I'll do it with Sayori first. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Terrifiger. Uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Sayori, so, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh? Of course! Everything's fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? Oh, silly! Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Alright. Hey, Terrifier, I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki, but in the end? Yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Oh, crap. Wait, of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something, and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life, so sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? No. Terrifiger? I don't deserve this. Don't deserve it? You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Siri has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Siori! I glance around the room to make sure nobody else has noticed this. Siori. I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Siori shakes her head. She snivels and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Terrifiger. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. 
Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Siori, Tomonika wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Siori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Well, that was odd! I... I can't dismiss this that early. I can't, honestly. Okay, Yuri. Here you go. Ellipsis. Well done, Terrifiker. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing out writing like this is a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to... Hold on. It's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Terrifiger? Huh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer, and even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Hmm? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Your lips this. Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have... For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. I don't really understand the grammar of that, but okay. How unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. Let's see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. Okay. Need to just drink. A marvel millions of years in the making, when the womb of where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface, under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath grey rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. When can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet, or where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. I turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Hmm. I like it. I like this one. Actually, the, I come to think of this, I actually didn't see a poem from Sayori to, to, today. I, I just realized just now. Um, more of the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, well, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well... Well, amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I was supposed to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's so good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Who should I show him from to next? Do you know who? Ellipsis. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyways. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, I mean, that's fine. I'm also just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Huh? No! Gross! It's not like I care. 
There's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if he ended up just scaring me away? That's... um... It's not like he would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. <laughs> Asuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess it's kind of the point. I'd really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing I've even happened. <laughs> I'll be your beach. Oh my goodness. I'll be your beach. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. Funny title. Um, okay, yeah, so this is something over the beach too, just like uh, Yuri's. Okay, so. <clears throat> your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach, for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that makes you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that, make you that you date to me about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be by your side, your own beach, your own escape, You'll learn to love yourself again. Huh. Okay. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, y you know, I mean, like... Yeah, you know, that... that I think both my sisters would agree with you. Since it's coming so close to summertime now, they're wanting to go to Harrison Hot Springs, and uh, and uh, I once went there, and after an hour there, I was already bored, but they both wanted to stay for like a couple more hours. They really like it there. Me, personally, not that much. Well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... She should barely not say anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. <sighs> you could really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic and trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess it might end up being kind of metaphorical too, but there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay. Who's that going to next? To her. Hi, Terrifanger. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Ellipsis. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's, it's funny how your poems and Siori's poems will be getting more and more similar to each other every day. Really? Really? I'm I'm just I'm just picking words. I didn't, I didn't don't know that I'm actually picking Siori the most. The most the words that like I'm picking words that Siori would like the most. I honestly didn't realize that. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Hey, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see. I see. That reminds me. About us, you always been a little bit off today. Yeah, did you tell you something? Eh, uh, well... Terrifiger, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Of course not! I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Death thing is true. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so I'll keep an eye on her. She's always been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? I don't know. I kind of have a feeling like she, like she actually kind of developed a crush on me, 
and seeing and seeing me get along with the other with the other girls actually kind of makes her jealous. I feel I feel that might be it. I don't know. Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now. All right. Er, all right. Okay. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift of the sky, victims of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope. No legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather. A dry quail, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I kind of liked it, but I don't know. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that gives life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. But it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical, because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway. Something still isn't striking me as quite right here. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writings because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, or okay, or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for you today. Thanks for listening. That's everybody. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. I think I know what they're talking about. They're 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 saying like 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 okay everyone that's it for the day or something like that. And this time she said okay you three. Is it just me or is she seeming very nonchalant about about say about how Sayori is feeling? I don't know. Jeez, why is the moon so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Eh. Stagnating air is coming, foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Yuri. What did I say about saying things like that? In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Siori isn't here. Ah, seems you're right. <sighs> Siori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please, show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. No! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What'd she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. 
Well, you might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Yuri will be helping me design them. And as for you, Yuri... Yuri, you can... Oh, no. Uh, um... Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? <laughs> I... I'm useless. No! That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's putting too. Juicy, I? I can tell now. I guess I never gave Suri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I also can't be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focuses starts nodding to herself. Mine's already racing, I see. That's great! It'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Terra Piker. The one who is truly really useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, uh, that's... Is Monster Slick suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are we going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I have to give it to you. Um, hey! I kind of know how to! It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki yeah, tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Terrifiger may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on! I never said that! How are you going to be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Terrifiger to- What are you saying?! Do extremely meticulous work. Baking isn't. So just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Terrifiger to decide how he'd like to- I- Hold on a second. History. How he'd like to contribute, okay. I, I accidentally clicked too fast. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in- You literally just said- I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just sell this already? Yeah. Terrifiger, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Very well. Matt Cates, everyone looks straight at me. Oh, boy. The Siori is dot dot dot. Like, she she feels like... Oh my gosh. Are they really making me do this? <sighs> yeah, you know what? You know what? I am going to... I think... Spending the weekend with someone, I, I like. I feel like both of, I think both Natsuki and Yuri are going to reject if I pick Monica. And Siori, depressed as she is, still technically is helping out Monica. So Monica's already got some a partner to help. Um, so I'll leave Natsuki and Yuri. Honestly, Natsuki seems a, seems like 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 I, she seems kind of assertive, and I don't really like that. Uh, Yuri also seems like really really shy and stuff, and apologetic and. And and while and while I am like okay with that, I don't like I don't really like it to the excessive amount that she does it because it kind of strikes me as a bit of a, a bit of annoying. I guess I don't really care which. I I guess I could just I, I'm just gonna I, I don't know. I'm just gonna flip a coin on these two. Hold on a second. Let me just get a coin. Uh, coin, coin, coin. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna just reach into my wallet. I'm gonna get a coin to use. Uh, and here we go. There we go. I got something. I got a Where's Waldo token. It's uh, it's right here. Let me just uh, show it to you guys. Uh. The aha uh -huh side. I'm just gonna see if you guys can see that. Can you see it? Aha! Uh -huh, that's where's Waldo? And if you flip it over, where's Waldo? 
That, th th that's going to be the token, okay? So the side with Waldo, since it has Waldo's head on there, it's going to be heads. The other side's going to be tails, okay? I'm going to flip it and see what it says, okay? Here we go. The coin toss of the century. And heads, I'm going to pick Natsuki, tails, I'm pick Yuri, okay? Here we go. Bushki. Heads! Heads! That means Natsuki. Okay. Okie dokie. I really didn't mind either one because both of them each kind of have like a, a certain traits about personalities that I like and some that I don't like, but you know, whichever. So it's Natsuki. Natsuki! Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. Yeah, that plus I've actually done baking before I, for like my uh, food courses in school. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking is a ton of fun. We'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago you were saying that. That's because. Never mind, okay. Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. Oh, come on! That makes me feel bad! That's... good. Even though Yuri's being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. So, that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the reforms is gonna be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Terrifiker? Me? Hey, I guess you say I'm interested to see how it will turn out. It's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? You're still sulking. Mm. My suitcase starts pouting, too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little unappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. It doesn't mean... Uh. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look, Natsuki goes over and puts her hand down Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And, and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances, so... You need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monka and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, to be saying such encouraging things. But I began to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work out perfectly, I could tell that she was trying to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best, and all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any rooting today, so... Fair enough, there's nothing wrong for that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, where are you going? Huh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally wouldn't have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Sure, it's a good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? Better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Okay. Natsuki gives me your number. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I'll be going to your house. Yeah, right. Why well, I can have a guy over my house? My dad would kill me. Really? It's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, it's just need to complain for a second. We'll have each other's, we have each other's numbers now. I recall you- it said- I recall the narration saying that you gave me yours. I don't recall me giving- the, the, I don't recall me giving you mine. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm only going to show you why I love being so much, so you better look forward to it. Oh, didn't you just say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just i was just saying that. It's not like I could act, like, in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Eh. Never mind. 
can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this a chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell, but until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait! Okay. It's already Sunday. I'm going to leave this episode off here now. I don't want to just keep going until it reaches time for me to write another poem, if I'm going to do that. So, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.